Hello everyone and welcome back to Zags or Zenage sequel. If you're interested in playing the game yourself, links are in the description. I highly recommend. Please buy the game. Show it love. Share it with friends. Want to start from the very beginning? I have a playlist. Or if you want to watch the game, this is the sequel for. Uh, it's you're running a gay story, Yags. That link will also be in the description. Or if you're interested in watching me play the game, I have a playlist fully complete. I somehow got a good ending. <laughs> And apparently with one of the more difficult characters to actually get, like, a good ending with, so... Nice. Nice. Nice me. Nice past me. Will you do it this time? Who knows? Alright, let's get started. I'm at Adam after classes. So it's Friday night. Perfect time to study. Chico. I'm just somewhat kidding. What did you want to do? Uh, see if board games are happening, propose a movie, hit the gym, go study. What if we go study though? What, what if we go study? <laughs> what if we go study? Ah, <laughs> uh, do we go to the movie instead? That seems to be like their thing. I don't know. Ah, oh, God, this is so hard. Propose a movie. Want to hit the theater? I guess that could be a thing. We head to the theater and look at the list of movies. Okay, not Hannibal Rising. Norbit? Don't know anything about it, so why not? We buy our tickets and find seats. The theater is fairly full. We find a pair of seats in a reasonable far back row. Not chosen popcorn? You don't have to get snacks from me all the time, Chico. It feels weird to see a movie without something to eat somehow, and I'm getting something for myself, so it's not an extra effort to get you something. Well, thanks, dude. Adam leans and I watch the ads while I wait for him to return. He returns partway through the previews with a tub of popcorn. They're out of nachos, but you can have some popcorn if you want. Thanks, Chico, but not really a fan of it. The movie ends up being pretty funny and enjoyable, although I get the sense that Adam isn't enjoying it. Adam shakes his head when the lights come back on. Dude, what was that? And were all the characters Eddie Murphy? I thought it was great. <laughs> you know, this does seem like your kind of movie. I'm glad you had a good time, at least. It's probably about the time for dinner. I don't suppose you'd be interested in dinner at the house. Probably not tonight. Maybe next week I'll join you. He looks at me. Dude, you don't have to go eat there. Screw the what Steve's Screw what Steve thinks. <laughs> uh, I couldn't I couldn't read it. I had to be exaggerating. <laughs> I probably shouldn't stir the pot right now. Someday I'll be as strong as you, Chico. Oh Well, I'll see you tomorrow then. Sounds good. Oh, oh no, my heart. Oh, friendship. <laughs> God, it's so good. I love their, I love their relationship. It's so good. It makes me, it makes me way back home. Huh. I make my way back to the house. The food is already set out in the dining room, but I feel the same sense of unease I've been feeling all week. I grab a plate of food and set a relatively empty table. Just as I start eating, I spot Tom walking into the room. We lock eyes, and he seems to think for a moment before walking towards me. Oh sh**. He stands next to my table and stares at his feet. I can feel my chest getting tighter and tighter as the seconds tick by. I'm sorry bro. That wasn't what I was expecting. I have to admit though, it's pretty f He stops and stares at the ground again. Look bro, I don't understand and I think it's f weird, but it's still not really fair of me and I'm sorry I was so disrespectful or whatever. Eva made you say that, didn't she? Or that's a start at least, or thank you. <sighs> Shit. That's a start at least. Oh no, I don't know how to, how to approach this. I want to say this one, but at the same time, this one's good. Oh, God, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. That, that's a start at least. Bro, this isn't easy for me. Ava said I was being more of a jackass than usual and asked me why it mattered so much to me. And I guess she's right that it shouldn't matter, it's just weird. But weird isn't an excuse for me to be rude to you, so I'm sorry bro. I'll do my best to get past whatever. He's gone before I can say anything else. That was something at least. I head back to my room afterwards, at least glad that it's the weekend. Oh no. <laughs> I should have stopped <laughs> in between. Oh no. I wake up early Saturday morning from a dream about Tom, Ava, and some brothers finding out I was gay and refusing to talk to me ever again. Carlos, no! I'm glad Tom is trying in real life at least. I stare at the ceiling, consider my options for the morning. 
prick! To see what Adam and Chris are up to. I'm committing to the boys. <laughs> I get dressed and head to Chris and Adam's room. Oh, this is a disaster zone. I knock on the door and it opens after a bit. Good morning. Adam groans from his bed and pulls his pillow over his head. It's too early, dude. Up to late like, having alone time with the textbook again, Chico. Adam doesn't respond, but he seems to shake his head under the pillow. I was heading to Q&A. You're welcome to join me. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, dude. <laughs> Thanks, dude, but I think we're going to drag Adam to breakfast instead. He nods and brushes past me, shutting the door behind me. Adam grows and removes the pillow from his head, looking over at me. It's too early! It's too early for this! It's too early for this! It's too late for this, Jesus. It's too early for breakfast, dude. Up and at him, Chico. <laughs> we can go to the gym or something afterward, too. <laughs> Actually, it doesn't- I can't get over this! Ah! I put a couple pair of jeans and them at him. Ugh. Pineapple jalapeno breakfast pizza and waits it is then. Adam shakes his head when he gets dressed and we head to the yard. Let's go! Let's go! Ooh, okay. <laughs> the restaurant is fairly quiet and we're seated right away. Adam yawns and I punch his arm. Okay, seriously, when did you go to bed? I don't know. I was working on a paper and just got into the flow of it, so I didn't want to stop writing. <clears throat> the solution to that. <laughs> the solution to that is to not work on papers. Then you can get a full night's sleep. Yeah, I'm sure that's the right answer, dude. The waitress comes by and asks us we're ready. Uh, a medium breakfast pizza with sausage and jalapeno? Works for me, dude. He places the order and Adam leans back in the booth and closes his eyes. Dude, I'm not sleeping, I'm just resting my eyes. Uh-huh. What are your plans for the day? I'm not sure, probably going to finish up some homework, maybe do some reading. You? I'm not sure. He opens his eyes and looks at me. Still avoiding the house? Kind of. I don't really know what's going on there, I guess. Hmm. We're silent for a bit. I don't really know what to suggest. I really don't know what to suggest, dude. But there's anything, but there's anything I can do to help. Let me know. Thanks, Chico. The food arrives and we quickly finish the entire pizza. We split the bill afterwards and Adam sighs. Okay, I think I'm actually going to go to back to bed for a bit. No gym? Maybe later today. Come by in the afternoon. Sounds good, Chico. I return. <clears throat> I return to my room and try to decide what to do with the rest of the morning. Head to the gym, see if games are happening. Head to the gym. <laughs> no, wait, shit. Because I was like, wait, we're supposed to go to the gym in the afternoon if I wanted to like, stick with Adam. So see if games are happening. <laughs> I head to the atrium. Jake and Nicole are sitting at the table playing Lost Cities. Oh, hi, Carlos. Just wanted to see if there were any games. We're just finishing up this game, but we can do something else afterward. That sounds good. I sit at the table and watch them play. All right, I don't know how to do. I don't have to do board games. <laughs> It'll last another couple of rounds before the game ends, and Jake wins, winds up victor victorious. Man, I never get any of the ten cards. You should stop taking the cards I put down and draw from the deck. Then you just say that so you can just guard larger cards. Then take them, but you're not going to find the tens. <laughs> anyway, what should we play? Yes, yes. Pahan? Camel? Is that the sound the camels make? Camel, camel, camel? Caramel, caramel, caramel? Caramel? <laughs> Are the camels being melted down into sauce? I think they're being sprinkled on top. Caramel, ca camel bits. Nom nom nom. Jake sets up the game and we start. I like how like Carlos is just like, what is happening? But he doesn't like really interrupt them or anything. It goes pretty well, but Nicole gets an empty caravan strategy going and the rest of us are unable to catch up. An early caravan, my bad. Nice job. Something else? I think it's about time for lunch, actually. Buffet. I could do that. Hopefully the pizza is good today. Nice. The fit looks surprisingly normal today. It looks- it looks deceiving. Looks are deceiving. Spaghetti with meat sauce, hot dogs on whole wheat buns, pepperoni pizza. Hard to me disappointed, but mostly just relieved. They don't usually do themed lunches. Well, given some of the lunches we've had here, that's still not a guarantee of anything. We grab a bunch of food and help Jake carry his plates to the table. We're going to work on our programs after lunch. 
Oh, sure. If you want to go work with us, Carlos, we can go work in a computer lab or something. Thanks, but I don't think today is much of a homework day for me. Ay, disculpe. The meal is uneventful. And soon, I leave them to the programming and I consider my afternoon plans. Check out the- go to the- go to the gym? Eh? I go to quickly grab my gym clothes and head to the gym. Are we meeting Adam? I don't know. Malik's working at the desk though, so that's nice. Man, I ditched you Malik, I'm so sorry. Maybe now, maybe I should commit to you a little bit more. I want to know more about Malik. Hey honey. I swept my card and had, uh, had me towel. So, uh, how are you doing? Just fine, how are you? I consider asking if he'd be interested in just talking sometime, but the words stuck in my throat. Stick in my throat. But the words stick in my throat. I'm good. Just getting a run in. Well, have a nice time. I run for a while, the exercise helping me to relax a bit. I figure it's about time for dinner and head back to the house. Dinner is just being set out when I return and fill up a plate and find a table to sit at. Steve walks into the room as I'm finishing up my meal, looks over at me, and seems to hesitate a bit before walking over. What now? How's your arm? Oh, it's fine now. Hurts a bit if I bend it too much or whatever, but fine. That's good. We're quiet for a bit. Did you know Robert's brother is gay? Um, of course you did. I guess everyone does after what Elliot did. No, didn't know what Elliot did. Dude, if you have a point to make, please just make it. Steve stares at me for a bit. Look, I'm sorry. What? Last week when Robert came to get his stuff and after you and I had our conversation. I don't know if I'd exactly call that a conversation. He told me I was being a bit unfair to you. What? And I... I think it would be still... I think it's, st it's still... Well, that words. And I... I think it would still be better for everyone if you were quiet, but I suppose I don't have the right to tell you how to live your life. He shrugs. So I'm just sorry. Robert really said that? Or you damn well better be- Robert? Robert said that? <laughs> I was a little lost. I'm like, wait, who said it? Robert really said that? Robert is a good person, you know. He just had a rough time last semester. He almost killed Elliot, dude. You call that a good person? <laughs> I'm excusing what he- bleh. I'm not excusing what he did, but you've known him for years now, Carlos. He's always been a bit of an asshole, but yes, generally a good person. Is this just- is this a, is this- oh my god. Is this just you trying to get me to get along with him? Given that Robert isn't coming back again, no. I don't need you to get along with him. I'm just saying what happened. Anyway, have a good dinner, huh? <sighs> he leaves and I sit there for a while, lost in my thoughts. I really need to talk to Elliot. I head back to my room. Wow. Wow. I sit at my computer and stare at my IM list. Chris and Elliot all appear to be all mine. I stare at Elliot's name for a while. Okay, I can't chicken out again. If I don't tell him now, I don't think I'll ever be able to. Not that there's not a niceness to email. It's more distract- it's more- it's more disconnected and impersonal. What? <laughs> that didn't register. Not that there's not a uh, niceness to email, it's just disconnected and impersonal. Okay, okay, I got it. My brain wasn't clicking. <laughs> We're gonna talk to Elliot. <clears throat> okay, this is stupid. Good evening to you too. What's stupid? Are you gay? Oh shit, did I really just say that? <laughs> Holy! He doesn't respond for a bit and I start typing an apology. You know, as much as I've been expecting this conversation, I'm not really sure how to respond. The answer is yes, but I feel like that's not really enough of an answer for what you're really asking. I stare at the words, my heart thudding in my chest, unsure of what to say. It seems Elliot isn't really sure what to say either because there's nothing else for a while. Remember that day before all this happened when you asked me to play foosball? You were going to ask me out, weren't you? My fingers tremble I f <laughs> My fingers tremble as I try to type a response. I didn't even know if you were gay? Yeah. I wanted to come out to you, but I couldn't. We're quiet for a while. So what now? Carlos. I feel like an idiot for not taking my chances when I had it. And I just I want to know if there's still a chance for us. I think I understand what you're asking, and I think you really don't want to be asking that. Right now. What's that supposed to mean? I don't- Don't do this in English, please! <laughs> this is my like- Ah, <laughs> oh, okay, we can do this. 
I have to go. Well, oh God, shit. I have to go, but we'll talk again later. Elliot. He signs off and I stare at the screen for what feels like hours. Does that mean he isn't wasn't interested in me? I distract myself with random internet videos instead. Before I know it, it's gotten late and Elliot says it's time for bed. But he left. <laughs> he left us. I wake up fairly late Sunday morning to a knock at the door. Uh, good morning, dude. Sorry if I woke you up. It's probably time to wake up anyway. What's up? Just get in bed to see if you wanted to hit the gym. Sleep and exercise are my two favorite things. And here I was sure I was one of your favorite things. Oh, I know it's intended to be a tease, but it hits a little too close to home and I <laughs> Okay. I know it's intended to be a tease, but it hits a little close to home. I punch his arm trying to play it off. Uh-huh. Let me grab some clothes and we can go. Hey, Malik! <laughs> well, look who it is. Hey, dude. Hey, sweetie. Adam swipes his card and receives a towel. Well, it was good to see you two again. Have a nice workout. <clears throat> we quickly get changed and head into the gym. The workout is uneventful and I invite Adam back to the house for lunch afterward. You know, that actually sounds nice as much as it's a relief now that- it, uh, nah. As much as it, it's a relief now to not have responsibilities there, I do miss everyone. Uh, I, uh, I came out to Elliot yesterday. Dude, congrats! I guess. You guess? It's a relief in a lot of ways, but I also don't have a chance there. Dude. I mean, he didn't say as much, but he avoided the topic. He probably wasn't interested in me like that. And it's quiet, but he puts an arm around my shoulders and pulls me against his side. That's really nice. I really have the worst luck with crushes, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. So, uh, not to change the topic, well, not change his topic exactly, but Chris and James are officially dating as of last night! <gasps> oh! Oh my god! And that makes me feel worse. Carlos, please, why can't I just be happy for them? <laughs> just thought I'd let- <sighs> Just thought you'd like to know, I guess. We're quiet the rest of the way to the house. Oh jeez, lunch is already out when we get back to the house and a bunch of brothers greet Adam as we fill up our plates. Dude, you think I've been gone for- <laughs> You'd think I've been gone from here for months or something. It's only been a week. It, it feels like it's been a lot longer since uh, last Friday. Dude, we sit at a table with a few other brothers who all seem eager to talk to Adam. Tom sits down next to me suddenly and the sound of his plate against the table startles me. Hey bro. Uh, hi. The meatloaf is good today, although it feels like a weird choice for lunch. Well, Adam says lunch should actually be the biggest meal since you go to bed not too long after eating dinner. Bro, no way. Dinner's when you have steak and potatoes and meatloaf. The meal is uneventful and it feels like Tom is really making an effort. Oh no, nah, fuzzy feelings. <laughs> after we finish eating, Adam and I retreat to the common room. We sit on a couch and watch a couple of brothers play Guitar Hero. Okay, I admit. I've missed this a bit. Regrets, Chico? No, I think this is nice in a way it wouldn't be if I felt some obligation to be here. Uh, we get in a couple of rounds of Guitar Hero before Adam heads out to do some home more homework. And I decide that I should do- And I decide what I should do with my day. Is it only morning? Spend the afternoon relaxing now, see if anyone's in the computer lab. Would be at the computer lab. The board game crew. Now we'll go see who's at the computer lab. If there's anyone. I head to the nearest computer lab. Oh yeah. I should have known. <laughs> Nate and Jake seem to be working in a corner at adjacent computers. Hey. Oh, hi Carlos. Mind if I join you? Please. I take a seat on the free computer next to them. So how are things going with you, Carlos? They are, I guess. Still struggling with things with with my sexuality. I really it's only after the words are out that I haven't actually come out to them before. Nate seems to take my admission to stride. You know Malik? The guy who works at the gym check-in desk? Yeah, I came out to him and it was like... A... <laughs> yeah, I came out to him. It was a big thing, but it still feels like this big thing for me to tell people. 
sorry, I guess that's not what you really asked. No, that's a totally fine response, and, a to and totally valid. Coming out isn't easy. Jake seems to be staring off into space, and Nate rubs his back. You should take steps as you're comfortable. Don't feel like you have to live up to some standard of gayness or whatever. Look at all these people with their good advice. How, how did you and Jake meet? <clears throat> Nate looks at Jake. Uh, seemingly asking permission, Jake nods and returns to typing. I was a TA for his econ class. He came to me after hours a few times. I thought he was cute. Then he walked in on her. Uh, let's just say he found out that I'm gay and single. <laughs> let's just say he found out that I'm gay and single. He didn't walk in on Nate having sex with someone, did he? So he asked me out and we've been dating since then. It's been just over three months. I'm surprised Jake did that. He comes across as a lot shyer than that. That's not to say there hasn't been a lot of things we've had to work out, but we communicate and I think things are going well. Yeah. That's good. Anyway, I should probably do some work, but I'm always happy to talk if you want. I spend the rest of the evening playing games while Nate and Jake work time- work next to me. Dinner's pretty good, but also uneventful. I head up to my room afterward. Oh my god, it's Sunday. Oh my god, it's another week. I wish tomorrow wasn't Monday. <laughs> Oh god, what if, where are we in time? Uh, we're gonna be wrapping up here everyone. Thank you so much for joining me if you're interested in playing the game yourself. The links are in the description. Thank you to this month's patrons. Thank you so much for your support. It means the world to me. Uh, if you're interested in getting early access to videos and exclusive access to other things, check out my Patreon. Links in the description. Hopefully I'll see you there and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!